So far we have seen these uh, talent acquisition practices into the Infosys first and then we have seen into the IBM. Now I would like to take the third case study that is the talent acquisition and attracting talent at the FedEx is there. The talent acquisition and attracting talent at FedEx, the best HR practices adopted by a company like the FedEx regarding the managing their talent, then the case study how FedEx managers such a large talent pool and the how FedEx managers are working in this particular organizations. So, talent acquisition and attracting talent at FedEx is that is the service based industry. The success of the company depends on the ability and performance of its employees that is the their first uh, perception. And now um, any uh, you will say that is the, what is new in this every organization is thinking like that yeah. But in organization the first priority in the vision nowadays these practices started there key employees are our internal customers right. But earlier it was the production, productivity, efficiency, effectiveness, operations that was given the much more importance. It was not the first vision statement. So, here when we are talking about that is the the success of the company depends that that is their first concept ability and performance of its employees and ability we know what type of ability. The first is the job knowledge. because it is an industry of its own kind and therefore, in that case it, it is the job knowledge that is uh, becoming a very very important. Second one is HR skills, so I always give the formula of success is equal to A into M into O, A is the ability. And it is ability is the job knowledge HR skills. Nowadays, we are also talking about the analytical skills because whatever the conceptual skills you are having, but those conceptual skills are to be analyzed. For example, suppose I give you the assignment that is the compare. Uh, the talent acquisition practices in Infosys, uh, then uh, uh, the IBM and the FedEx. So, as a lecture it, it was it was the conceptual skills, but when I ask you to do the analytical uh, analyze make a critical evaluate uh, these three companies practices talent acquisition practices and then it is becoming the analytical skills they are very very important is there. Then we are also adding in ability the next one that is a designing skills. Whenever I think of the talent I think of that is a creativity and designing if the in the organizations if there are the competent employees those who are having all the skills right from the job knowledge to the redesigning the job. It is not that I have been born for this particular job only and I will do this job only, why should I do the another job right. So, if this type of the employees are there, they are dead wood, they are not stars, they are dead wood. But when this type of employees are there, those who redesign the job, they suggest to the organization that is we can do this job in a, such a way, so then that is a wonderful is there, so ability is there, aim is for motivation employees are required to be have the self motivated and o is for opportunity so therefore in the case when you want to be a successful person then it is becoming very very important that is you are having that this ability then the motivation willingness to do unless until you do not have that willingness I told in the last session that is a psychological ownership belongingness. So, that is the motivation and then that is the opportunity is there. So, in that case you will find 
that is the we will be doing this all aspects of this particular uh, per, uh, the talent management practices uh, that will be uh, the giving the importance. So, a very large talent pool successfully and uh, that is the success story that is uh, how you are able to go for this talent management practices that is becoming uh, the important for, for uh, the managing the large large talent pool in the organization. Due to increase in competitions, globalization and increasing the knowledge of employees, the company have to formulate efficient HR practices for managing their talent and to meet the new challenges. So, how they are managing their talent? First is the right kind of people. Hmm? What is the right kind of people? Right kind of people are like the in the Holland's model. In the Holland's model, we talk about conventional, realistic, investigative, artistic, social and enterprising. Hmm? So, this RISEC model R I A S E C. So, that RISEC model uh, where the, the jobs are matching with the personality, if the personality job fit is there. So, that is the right kind of people are working in the organization and I have learned from my boss 30 years back in 86, so 34 years back that is whenever you are having the negotiation, please fulfill your promises. So, if you, you want to create a good relationship with the your customers, then always ensure you are having the, the fulfillment of promises. Traditionally, the HR executives many times have been found wrong that whatever they have you must be knowing there is an agreement, huh? wage agreement is there and in the wage agreement it is after normally it is after every 3 years. So, people, uh, people means the union representatives and the employees representative they meet each other and then they are making these charter of demand then the management representatives are there then committees are formed they discuss they finalize and then they sign. So, that negotiation is done for next 3 years. But if the management is not professional, so they for the signing purpose they will say yes we will do this, we will do that. But when the when the process starts and the workers observe that oh many promises are not fulfilled and the organization is making the excuses. In that case, you will not be able to develop the talent dear friends in your organization. Talent will not be written remain with you, there will be the attrition of the ta uh, talent. So, what is required that is you fulfill the promises. Third, a very very important providing the good working environment, the brain mapping willingness to do, come on the job at the right time, doing the job with the ownership right, all these factors that depends on the working environment. How is the supporting working environment is there? You can feel the motivation in amongst the employees, if the working environment is highly supportive. They support to the employees up to the extent, if there any personal problem is there that will be also solved. I remember in the traditional HR or you can say IR, industrial relations, it was told, ye aapke personal problem hai, isko yahan kare chetra pe mat leke mat aiye. But nowadays, you, if you have any personal problem, HR will say let us know if we can be of any help to you, simple simple problems. 
for example that is the admissions to the schools of your children employees children uh, or that is the guest booking connections of the newly joined uh, employee or newly wedded employee and then the uh, house accommodation uh, allotment and all so these are the, the these are the decisions which creates the enabling conditions please understand this is important i tell you the environment have a very high impact on the brain of the employees and not only employees in the family also please understand how do you create the environment in at, at home is it the friendly growing trustworthy respectful love and affection belongingness optimistic happiness servant style servicing to, to, to the family members respect to the elders love to the youngers right so these are the certain value systems of the working environment uh, uh, the environment so all these values whether you are at in the family or you are at the work are you following those value systems when you reach at home are the people are happy family members are happy whether they are waiting for you even the mother is saying to the child that okay you take your uh, breakfast but the child is saying let the father come and he is waiting waiting and waiting right means of course not lo long time waiting he can't wait for long time but yes he is reasonably waiting why because of that love it is not because of fear please forget that the fear can create the love right so therefore that work environment and enabling conditions they are very very important i love to see the organizations where as i mentioned that is the junior colleagues are having the high respect for seniors and senior colleagues they are having the love blessings and the support to growth of the junior employees now there is another very very important aspect that is the how and what promotion policies and incentives you are giving to your employees if you are giving to your employees a promotion system which is performance based here i would like to mention one formula also the formula is competency and convenience so in the promotions and incentives it has been seen that is the first is the competency and if the person is competent and there are two persons are competent and if you have to give the to the one to whom you will choose a convenient one or competent one convenient one means you are having the special affection for that employee you want to promote encourage by the shortcuts in judging others what is shortcuts in judging others hello effect because the person is from your caste or your geographical location or uh, something is sim there is a common and therefore you want to promote that employees or it is a similar effect the way you have started your work he is also starting his work so you go you feel nostalgic and therefore you support convenience or it is because of the contrast what you could not do he is doing wonderful and therefore that is that shortcut in judging others means that will be the contrast effect all right are the stereotyping the way i work he works like that only and that's why he should be promoted so these are called the shortcuts in judging others so promotions are based on the competency and convenience is based on the 
that whenever we ask him to do the job, he is always ready, always available to serve. And it is by heart, willingness, motivated. It is not because of the uh, promotions or scare of the losing the job. No, not reason, because of the respect, respect to the senior from the heart. So, therefore, those promotions and incentives that has been taken care of. Providing learning opportunities, I have talked earlier also, L and D, learning and development, you know, in IBM also we have seen. What is important is this? that everybody wants to grow and everybody understands he will grow only if he learns if he does not learn he will not grow and therefore learning opportunities are becoming very very important shielding from the high work pressure nowadays the everybody is under stress why time is short have to do lot of things so as it love which the work pressure is there but if you really want an output from a talented person, you have to give the freedom, you have to give the flexibility, you have to give the openness, you have to create the trust, you have to show the optimistic uh, approach towards that particular employee. And therefore, these are the best practices that should be adopted for the talented management. So, this is the example of that particular um, organization, leading logistic company for overnight packages. It also delivers packages via ground and the freight deliveries. FedEx also helps companies with their logistic and supply chain management with more than 260,000 employees worldwide. FedEx handles more than 7.5 million shipments daily to over 220 countries. It uses 671 airplanes at more than 375 airports worldwide and has more than 75,000 vehicles in service. The company also owns FedEx Inco's uh, which is specialization office and printing services. There are 1,874 FedEx Inco's office and the print centers. In fiscal 2007, the company reported revenues of $35.2 billion on 9 percent from the previous year. The net income was the $2.01 billion. The company was named as one of the 100 best companies to work for by the Fortune magazine and that, that was the important. And this is about uh, the company was started in 1971 uh, as a, a Yale classmates and fraternity brother of President George Bush. It officially began operations on April 20, 17, 1973 with the launch of 14 small aircrafts from the Memphis International Airports on date. So, 100 packages to 25 US cities from the Rochester, New York to Miami, Florida. Company headquarters were moved to the Memphis. The, the, the city selected for it is the geographical center to the uh, original target market cities for the small packages. In addition, the Memphis weather was excellent and rarely cost closer at the Memphis International Airport. The airport was willing to make the necessary improvements for the operations and had additional hangar space readily available. It soon become the leader in delivery of high priority goods for the business in air cargo FedEx. The term FedEx became a verb for this, uh, the, the sending things overnight and the company took on this name in 1994. The major competitors because you see in every business you will find there are the competitors are there. You cannot survive without the your competitors right because when the competitors are there you do your best. If there are no competitors organizations also become lethargic and, and then they die. So, to, to survive also the competitors are required because that motivates you to perform better and better. Major competitors include UPS, uh, DHL, NTNT in addition to post office organizations around the globe. Now, since FedEx is service based industry, the success of the company depends on the ability and performance of its employees. Till now FedEx has managed to retain their employees and managed to maintain a very large talent pool successfully. Due to increased competitions, globalization and increasing knowledge of employees, the company have to formulate efficient HR practices for managing their talent and to meet the new challenges is there. Now, what is the first question? What are the challenges that are faced by any multinational service industry like FedEx? You, you understand that is the even though you are having the last talent pool, but increasing the knowledge of the employees 
right? HR practices and meet the new challenges, it depends that is the how your competitors are doing. Many times your competitors are adopting the again what technology, the use of technology high, high end use of technology, right. Whenever there is a high end use of technology, the multinational service industry like FedEx, they will face the challenges are there. When the services, services which are they are providing that has been underestimated by the government specially by the rules and regulations and then in that case also there will be the issues and challenges. So, what should be uh, this, this in the context of in the context of the second question I, I would like to suggest that you can answer this particular question in the context of in the context of the WMI right that is we have to discuss into the IBM. So, you can go by the WMI practices and then are the GISF and uh, we are we can say that is the best HR practices can be adopted with the help of the WMI and, uh, uh, and uh, GISF is there. So, in the beginning itself I mentioned in the in the first slide itself that is the, what is the FedEx policy, FedEx policy is the internal customers first people first philosophy whenever any organization is having the people first philosophy that organization has to be successful because the manpower's willingness is such a strong and such a high factor because you see may, uh, you are having the machine machine is today is okay tomorrow it is going to be the obsolete hmm? machine will go then money money conditions will be depending on the customers so they are sometimes they are they are accessing and they sometimes the money is shortage so money will also go material supply it depends on the supply and demand and therefore sometimes it is available sometimes it is not available the methods which you are using those methods will keep on changing with the help of technology and finally, the minutes that is the time management and the time management you have to do according to the you, you are available resources. But what will be most helpful that is a man. So, machine material money method and minutes you have to focus, but the best part of these resources that is the manpower. So, when people are placed first they will provide the highest possible service and which I was talking about that is about the designing creativity and the main machine relationship and the that belief is there. When you are having that belief that is the your people will solve every problem do not worry my team will solve this problem and therefore, in that case we will talk about that is the people are placed first the highest possible service and the profits will follow. So, a profit is not motive rather than profit will follow through the that possible services and as the, this is the statement and the philosophy of the founder and CEO Frederick Smith for the FedEx is there and that will be doing. So, how the FedEx managers are doing these things sir that, that is the SFA service feedback action survey feedback actions in the survey feedback action is this that is they will find out from their internal employees of course the customer survey is there and then you will find out from the outside also but you will also find out from their internal employees that is the how the organization is doing what changes would you like to make into the organization and therefore in that case that is a survey feedback action that will be preferred job change applicant tracking system that is a JCATS. If somebody wants to change from the one job to the another job, the shift right and then he will be applying. So, job change applicant tracking system will be there and it will be seen that is the word what jobs are most of the people want to change and why they want to change then definitely job uh, sometimes you have to do job enlargement, you have to increase the job and sometimes it is the job enrichment, you have to make the job strong. So, therefore, you have to go by the that job change applicant tracking systems, strong means enrichment means strong means value addition jobs 
it is not the number quantity like in the enlargement rather than in the job enrichment it is the quality of work which has been suggested. Then the leadership evaluation and awareness process leap is there right. So, we, uh, we have also conducted the leap and uh, leap uh, and that was for the leadership for the academician program right is, uh, supported by the MHRD of 3.5 CR of the one program. So, it is the leadership evaluation and awareness process. So, leadership styles are also evaluated and uh, found out that is the how they are doing and how they, they, they are making the aware to the stakeholders especially the internal customers that, that is the employees that how organization is doing and what the leadership is thinking about that particular process. So, SJWMI and GSIF, uh, GISF has been started by the IPM. Similarly, here you, uh, you will find that is the it is the SFA that is the server feedback action then the job change applicant tracking systems and leadership evaluation and awareness process that has been uh, preferred. So, how this uh, uh, FedEx is uh, doing the, the, their performance recognition and reward program in the talent acquisition and management this is becoming a very very important that is the uh, uh, how do you recognize your employees and when you say your employees the example is given that is well done that is a golden falcon award. The award consists of 10 shares of Federal Express stock and a congratulatory visit or phone call from a senior executive. So, whatever the dream is there to meet my CEO one day and have a dinner with him. So, that that, that will be uh, successful that is the having the golden falcon award will be there. So, finally, what we talk about that is the how FedEx managers are doing that is the open door a program through which an employee can question or put forward a complaint about matters of corporate policy such as benefits, hiring, seniority, vacations, etc. Anyone whatever the suggestions they want to give they can give their suggestions. When they give their suggestions for, for example, the incentive programs the, the organization may be offering certain incentives but which may not be applicable to some of the employees for example, children education allowance. So, in there that um, pay slip or you can say CTC cost to company there is mention about that is the yes there should have to be the uh, you will get the reimbursement of the reimbursement of the tuition fees of your children. But those who are having this particular uh, uh, the pet uh, uh, those who are bachelors then they, they will not be able to avail that this type of incentives, but in the CTC it is mentioned this is a cost to company. So, what is required those benefits and hiring process that can be amended by the feedback of the uh, your internal customers or employees. Then GFTP guaranteed fair treatment procedure and employee appeal processes for having an issue or complaint and therefore, in that case the if anybody is having any grievance and then a decision is done or the boss has terminated the services specially then there can be the appeal is there. Over the years FedEx developed several innovation HR programs that served as the benchmark for many organizations particularly in the service industry. These programs not only yielded financial benefits for the FedEx through improved employee productivity levels they also enhance the reputation of the company as an employee friendly service oriented organization that is that is the crux that is that is the employee friendly is there and, and organizations culture is to provide the services to the employees. So, these em, em, employees uh, friendly policies and they resulted into the services the best services to the organization and when your best services of the organizations are provided by the employees to their employer nobody can stop to win over not only to the competitors, but for the global level organization and they are becoming the best employer of the world. So, therefore, this is all about that is how talent acquisition management practices has been done by the FedEx. Thank you.